having a very good morning to all the ladies and gentlemen present here we welcome you to the academic award presentation ceremony for the year 2023 may i now request you to kindly put your mobile phones in silent mode avoid movement during the ceremony and please rise on the arrival of the chief guest the academic award presentation ceremony will begin shortly with the arrival of our chief guest for the ceremony lieutenant general daljeet singh adivishes seva medal vishes seva medal president's honorary surgeon director general armed forces medical services and senior colonel commandant army medical corps lieutenant general daljeet singh adivishes seva medal vishes seva medal president's honorary surgeon is an alumnus of armed forces medical college pune and after completing his mbbs in 1983 was commissioned into army medical corps on 17 december 1983 and seconded to indian air force thereafter he went on to do his post graduate studies in pediatrics which is md and dnb from pune university and national board of examinations respectively followed by super specialization in neonatology from pgi chandigarh he has also been awarded fellowship of national neonatology forum india he is presently the senior most pediatrician and neonatologist in armed forces medical services he is a renowned teacher and in addition to being the professor of pediatrics is also an examiner for several universities and post graduate medical institutions in india such as rajiv gandhi university of health sciences bangalore maharashtra university of health sciences nashik national board of examinations new delhi and post graduate institute of medical education and research chandigarh he is trainer of pediatric advanced life support and neonatal resuscitation program he has published various research papers in national and international journals as a part of armed forces medical services the general officer dedicated his services to air force till 29 september 2021 on 30th september 2021 the general officer was permanently seconded to army and he assumed the appointment of dgms army and became senior colonel commandant of army medical corps on 26 november 2021 the general officer assumed appointment of director general armed forces medical services on 15th march 2023 during his 39 years of service he has held numerous professional appointments including senior advisor pediatrics and neonatology at command hospital air force bengaluru command hospital southern command pune and seven air force hospital kanpur consultant pediatrics and neonatology at command hospital air force bengaluru and principal medical officer at headquarters central air command allahabad he has commanded prestigious seven air force hospital kanpur he has also held the important staff appointment of assistant chief of integrated defense staff medical at headquarters ids and Assistant Chief of Air Staff Medical at Air Headquarters for his dedication and devotion to the service he was awarded Vishesh Seva Medal in 2020 and Ati Vishesh Seva Medal in 2023 the general officer was also awarded the chief of the air staff commendation in 2006 and the chief of army staff commendation in 2011 The general officer is appointed as honorary surgeon to the president of India with effect from November 2021. We now await the arrival of the chief guest of the day. I request everyone to please rise on the arrival of the chief guest except for the ladies the ladies are to be seated
Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Lieutenant General Narendra Kotwal, Sena Medal, Vishesh Seva Medal, Director and Commandant, Armed Forces Medical College, I welcome you all on this auspicious occasion. Today, we have the esteemed presence of Lieutenant General Daljeet Singh, Ati Vishesh Seva Medal, Vishesh Seva Medal, President Honorary Surgeon, Director General, Armed Forces Medical Services, and Senior Colonel Commander, Army Medical Corps. It is my proud privilege to conduct the Academic Awards presentation ceremony today. In this ceremony, we shall be honoring our undergraduates, some of whom have transformed into officers today, for their achievements, which have brought laurels to this college, the faculty, and their parents. This day is indeed an important milestone in the journey of our newly commissioned officers as they have entered the next phase of their life, that is, from cadets to officers, from medical students to would-be doctors, from FMC students to alumni, from being dependent on their parents to being independent and being a support to them. We wish them all the best in their future endeavors. May I request Lieutenant General Narendra Kotwal, Sena Medal, Vishis Seva Medal, Director and Commandant, FMC, to deliver the welcome address. Good morning. Lieutenant General Daljeet Singh, Atifshi Seva Medal, Vishish Seva Medal, President's Honorary Surgeon, Director General Armed Forces Medical Services, and Senior Colonel Commandant, faculty members, newly commissioned officers, medical cadets, ladies and gentlemen. Armed Forces Medical College is a premier institute of the country. It provides best of medical education. Solid academic foundation is laid, and along with that, Quest for excellence is instilled in every cadet, which are the prerequisites for any medical graduate. Today, we have gathered for academic award ceremony presentation to appreciate and honor the pursuit of excellence of our interns and cadets. As director and commandant, it is my honor and privilege to welcome all of you uh, to, to celebrate the excellence of our students I take this opportunity to welcome our DGFMS, Lieutenant General Daljeet Singh. Sir, your august presence as chief guest and giving away the awards to awardees will inspire the passion for excellence. I also welcome all the dignitaries who have graced this occasion to celebrate the brilliance of our, in, our young cadets and interns. Today, in this ceremony, four medical cadets, nine interns, and two ex-students would be honored with 20 gold medals, two silver medals, and two trophies, and one student will get best article presenter, published article, which has been published. And all these selections have been made by a board of officers based on the very objective criteria. I would like to conclude by saying, Bhuvante Sarva Nutan Yatra Yam Safal Bhuvantu Tatha Ishwar Bhuantam Ashirwad Dadatu means may you all be successful in your new phase of life and God bless you all. Jai Hind. Thank you, sir. May I now request Major General D. Vivekanan, Dean and Deputy Commandant, Armed Forces Medical College, to present the Dean's Annual Report for the year 2022. Respected DGFMS, Director and Commandant, faculty, proud parents, distinguished guests, newly commissioned officers, and dear cadets. It is indeed my proud privilege to stand before you as 
the Dean and Deputy Commandant of this very premier institute, Armed Forces Medical College, to present the Dean's annual report of 2022-23. This college, the birth of this college took place with the visionary ideas of Dr. B.C. Roy in 1947, when he envisioned the creation of a college which will produce doctors for the purpose of joining the Armed Forces Medical Services of newly independent India. And it was on 1st May 1948 that this proposal was finally granted the approval by the then Prime Minister, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. And uh, it is indeed this batch which is passing out, the E3, it is your privilege to be passing out at a time when we are just completing 75 years on, of this great institute, and we are going to celebrate the Platinum Jubilee celebrations. This institute is presently affiliated to the Maharashtra University of Health Sciences, Nasik, and also recognized by the National Medical Commission for conducting undergraduate and various postgraduate medical courses. With the passing out of the E3 batch, 7,212 students would have graduated from this institution. Many of the alumni are presently serving in the Armed Forces Medical Services. Other graduates who have opted out of service liability after passing their final MBBS examinations or have been released or have retired from service after their putting in their glorious service are working in various government civil medical institutions in India and abroad. Wherever they are, they have brought laurels to this great institution. The academic performance of this college has always been the hallmark of its excellence. The graduate wing of this college has consistently achieved a better, a far better pass percentage as compared to the university averages in all the university examinations. Our achievements in academic environment, this could be achieved only because of the constant two-way learning-oriented teaching learning process, the communication, the integrated teaching methods, the newer teaching methods which we adopt, participation in various medical education training programs, and the focus on quality teaching and interaction with our dear cadets. Also, simultaneously, we encourage all our cadets to take part in various sports and extracurricular activities. The overall results in the two university examinations of the year 22-23 are as follows briefly. In the first MBBS, out of 149 who appeared, 147 have passed with a pass percentage of 98.65%. And 48 students had achieved distinctions in the first MBBS. In the second MBBS of 2022, out of 151 students who appeared, 137 passed with a pass percentage of 90.72. 52 students achieved distinctions. The third MBBS part one, 149 students appeared for the examination and all 149 cleared the examination, <laughs> providing a 100% cent percent result and a whopping 161 distinctions. In the third MBBS part two, out of 150 cadets, students who had appeared, 140 have passed with a pass percentage of 93.30, and 132 distinctions have been achieved by this batch. <laughs> AFMC has consistently been ranked amongst the top three medical colleges of the country by various magazines and institutions. We are also proud to be have been accredited by the National Assessment and Accreditation Council and given an excellent grading of A+. I wish to place on record our appreciation to the faculty for their untiring efforts, which has resulted in this kind of appreciation and grading. ASNC has also been ranked 34th best medical college across the entire world by the CEO World magazine published from New York City. Apart from regular academics, all our cadets are sensitized and encouraged to undertake research at the undergraduate level itself. 14 short-term research proposals completed of, have been completed of the Indian Council of Medical Research. The Maharashtra University of Health Sciences projects 
have been about 17, and 13 AFMC Alumni Association projects have also been undertaken by our cadets. The cadets have participated in a number of academic conferences, updates, CME programs, and medical essay competitions. The scientific society of the undergraduate wing is extremely active, and they are the ones who are uh, push and goad our cadets, guided by the faculty of the scientific society, to undertake these various researches and participation in various conferences. A quick run through of the department wise uh, achievements. All the departments have put in their heart and soul into teaching and grooming our students. The Department of Anatomy, the first MBBS students produced 98.65% result with 11 distinctions. In Physiology, the first MBBS students had a result of 99.32% with 15 distinctions. In Biochemistry, we had a 100% result with 22 distinctions. The Department of Internal Medicines, there were 14 distinctions. Department of General Surgery, there were 11 distinctions. Pediatrics, 15 distinctions. Obstetrics and Gynecology, 92 distinctions in the MUHS final MBBS examination. In Pathology, 26 undergraduate students achieved distinctions at the MUHS examinations. 16 distinctions have been achieved in the department in the examinations of pharmacology. In microbiology, 10 UG students have achieved distinctions. Community medicine, in the third MBBS part one, there were 71 distinctions at the MUHS examinations. Ophthalmology, the students have received 58 distinctions at the MUHS examinations. And in the ENT subject, we have received 25 distinctions. The Department of Medical Education and Technology of this college has been actively involved in the orientation of the new batch which has joined, the I3 batch, as also training and guiding our own faculty into providing better and better uh, teaching methodologies to our students so that they achieve better results and are, they turn out to be better doctors and better officers and better citizens of the society. I must place on record the contribution of our affiliated hospitals, that is the Command Hospital, Southern Command, Pune, the All India, the <coughs> Army Institute of Cardiothoracic Sciences, the Military Hospital at Kharki, and the Artificial Limb Center, which are all centers of excellence and which are providing our medical cadets with all the clinical support and the skills which they need to develop before they venture out into becoming independent doctors. The faculty members at all these hospitals have taken keen interest in teaching and imparting the small nuances of patient care to our students. Our students have actively participated in the Illuminati, which is the intercollegiate scientific symposium and conference which is conducted by this college every year. It is amongst the first few of its kind in the country in which we have guest lectures by eminent personalities, workshops and paper, poster presentations, scientific paper presentations by medical students from across the country. Last year, more than 700 medical students from various medical colleges participated actively in the Illuminati. The college graduate wing, as I had mentioned earlier, we have a large number of clubs and societies for the overall development of our medical cadets, which includes the adventure club, the cycling club, the computer club, the debating and quiz society, the Dramatics and Musematics, the Hobbies Club, the History and Heritage Society, the Prayas Club, the Rackets, the Basketball, the Scientific Society, which I mentioned earlier, the Marathon Club, Volleyball, Cricket, Medicine Club, the Aquatics, and the liter Literary Clubs. Our students have actively participated in all the club activities and have achieved laurels both within the college and at various competitions across the country. In sports, the college basketball, football, hockey, volleyball, cricket, swimming, athletics, and rackets teams have performed extremely well in the intercollegiate and university events. They have performed well in the various events of the MUHS, 
and many of them have been selected to represent the Maharashtra University of Health Sciences teams. The college basketball team has consistently won at various uh, competitions, including the PACE at AIT and our own silhouettes, which is conducted this, in this college. The Medicine Club has been very active, and they have won numerous awards at various festivals, intercollege festivals across the country. The Musimatics Club, the Drance and Dramatics, the Adventure Club have been extremely active and have provided our cadets with an opportunity to excel and showcase their talents. The members of the Prayas Club regularly visit, interact, and support various institutes involved in community services to underprivileged people. The FMC History Society and Heritage Club conducts various heritage walks at various uh, occasions. A movie elucidating the history and heritage of this history was prepared by the Heritage Club. Coming to the admissions to the MBBS course at AFMC, last year, out of a total of 26,081 NEET aspirants who applied for admission in AFMC, only 1670, that is 1,670, out of which 1,324 were boys and 346 were girls, were called for interviews, out of which 380 boys and 91 girls reported for the interviews, and out of whom we selected 30 girls and 115 boys, which goes to show that the final selection process is extremely uh, diligent, extremely stringent, and the products which we get here, whom we train here, are amongst the best in the country. The AFMC website, which is the afmc.nic.in, was launched in 2006 and contains updated information on the college and the various departments and activities. The college now completes 75 years, and uh, I'm sure that uh, with the talent pool which we have amongst the students, amongst the faculty, and with the unstinted support of the office of the DGFMS, this college is bound to go to greater and greater heights. I'm extremely grateful to Lieutenant General Daljeet Singh, Ativish to Seva Medal, Vishish to Seva Medal, President's Honorary Surgeon, Director General Armed Forces Medical Services, and Senior Colonel Commandant AMC for taking an extremely keen interest in all the activities of this college and guiding us with his wisdom and advice. I'm sanguine that AFMC will scale still greater heights under his able stewardship. I acknowledge the guidance and support of our Director and Commandant, General Narendra Kotwal, Sena Medal, Vishistha Seva Medal, without whom, with this college and this, the Office of the Dean would not have been able to discharge uh, their duties. I'm thankful to Lieutenant General Madhuri Kanitkar, PVSM, AVSM, VSM retired, Honorable Vice Chancellor of the Maharashtra University of Health Sciences for extending excellent cooperation to this college. My special thanks to the staff of the Office of DGFMS DG1D for their constant support, advice, and cooperation. My sincere thanks to all the faculty of AFMC and of our affiliated hospitals for their painstaking efforts and sacrifice and dedication in training the cadets in the art of medicine. I also wish to place on record my sincere gratitude to all my staff officers who have been toiling tirelessly to implement the various programs which we have envisaged to maintain the highest standards in academic training, in administration, in the upkeep of the hostels, the mess upkeep, and the various facilities of the college. I also owe my sincere thanks to all my office staff, both civilians and army personnel, for their hard work and dedication throughout the year. In the end, I thank my dear cadets for continuing the good work and to excel in all fields, both curricular and extracurricular, which gives not only you, but also us the zeal to strive further in achieving our mission of ensuring that AFMC continues to remain not just among the best, but the best medical college in the country. Jai Hind. Thank you.
Thank you, sir. Happiness lies in the joy of achievement and thrill of creative efforts. May I now request Lieutenant General Daljeet Singh, AVSM, VSM, President's Honorary Surgeon, Director General Armed Forces Medical Services, and Senior Colonel Commandant, Army Medical Corps, our chief guests, to come on the stage to present the awards. I also request Director and Commandant to accompany the chief guest. Firstly, I welcome medical cadet Ujwal Singh to receive Kumari Ella Chibar Memorial Gold Medal for standing first in college in biochemistry in first MBBS MUHS exam winter 2022. Next, I call upon medical cadet Abida Barreto to receive AFMC gold medal for standing first in college in anatomy. AFMC gold medal for standing first in college in physiology. And AFMC gold medal for standing overall first in college in the first MBBS MUHS exam winter 2022. Medical cadet Rishabh Raj is invited to receive late Lieutenant General BDP Rao Memorial Gold Medal for highest mark in pathology in second MBBS MUHS exam winter 2022. Next, I invite medical cadet Aditi Mahajan to receive AFMC gold medal for standing first in college in microbiology. AFMC gold medal for standing first in college in pharmacology. 
and late Jonathan Day Memorial Gold Medal for standing first in college in the second MBBS MUHS exam winter 2022. Next, I call upon Surgeon Sub Lieutenant Mani Soni to receive Colonel T. D. Chablani Gold Medal for standing first in community medicine in third MBBS Part 1 MUHS exam winter 2021. Next, I invite Flying Officer Aman Arya to receive Anil Chadha Memorial Gold Medal for standing first in college in ENT in the third MBBS Part 1 MHS Exam Winter 2021. Next, I call upon Flying Officer Shaknik Talukdar to receive AFMC Gold Medal for standing first in college in ophthalmology in 3rd MBBS Part 1. He is also receiving AFMC Gold Medal for standing first in college in 3rd MBBS Part 1. And he is also receiving Lieutenant Colonel O.P. Melotra Gold Medal for standing first in college in medicine in 3rd MBBS Part 2 MUHS exam winter 2022. I invite Dr. Danish to receive Headquarters Southern Command Gold Medal for standing first in college in surgery in 3rd MBBS Part 2 MUHS Exam Winter 2022. Lieutenant Riya Singh is invited to receive Headquarters Central Command Gold Medal for standing first in college in Obstetrics and Gynecology in 3rd MBBS Part 2 MUHS Exam Winter 2022. Next, I invite Lieutenant Sudhanshu Kumar to receive AFMC Gold Medal for standing first in college in Pediatrics in 3rd MBBS Part 2 MUHS Exam Winter 2022. Next, I invite Flying Officer Akshat Kare to receive Lieutenant General Dayaram Thapar Gold Medal for standing first in college in 3rd MBBS Part 2 MUHS Exam Winter 2022.
Now I invite Flying Officer Shagnik Talukdar to receive Brigadier Rasamai Ganguly Memorial Gold Medal for scoring highest marks in aggregate in 1st MBBS, 2nd MBBS and 3rd MBBS Part 1 and Part 2 MUHS exams. Next, I invite Surgeon Sub Lieutenant Akriti Gupta to receive the award for best article published by undergraduate student titled Comprehension of Prescriptions and Errors in Taking Prescribed Medicines by Veterans Polypharmacy, a Problem Underrated. Next, I invite Lieutenant Path Verma to receive Commandant Silver Medal for Commission Best Outgoing Sports Person for the year 2022. Lieutenant Aditi Vikram is invited to receive Dean Silver Medal for Commissioned Best Going Outgoing Sports Person Ladies for the year 2022. Dr. Ashwin Vardharajan is invited to receive Major General NDP Karani Trophy for the second best outgoing student of graduate wing in academics and extracurricular activities for the year 2022. I once again invite Flying Officer Shagnik Talukdar to receive DGAFMS Gold Medal awarded for excellence in academics with best academic record for the year 2022. He is also receiving Kalinga Trophy for the outgoing student. He is also receiving Kalinga Trophy for the outgoing student having best academic record for the year 2022. And he is also receiving President's Gold Medal to the best outgoing student of graduate wing in academics and extracurricular activities for the year 2022. Thank you, sir. May I now request our chief guest to say a few words of encouragement to our newly commissioned officers and medical cadets.
my dear cadets, newly commissioned officers, proud parents, distinguished guests, the commandant, dean, faculty, staff of AFMC, ladies and gentlemen. It's a matter of pride for me to be here today at my alma mater, at one of the most significant events in the college calendar, the commissioning and academic awards presentation ceremony. In the morning, I have been introduced to the soldier in you during the commissioning ceremony. You all did a great parade. We are all so proud of you. In fact, I was finding it difficult to keep pace with my pilots. And now I witnessed examples of academic brilliance in all of you. It gives me great satisfaction to you see you excelling in academics as well as military matters already. It gives me immense pleasure to celebrate your academic achievements, the awards that you got. This movement is a testament of your talent, hard work, dedication, and perseverance to excel and succeed. I extend my heartiest congratulations to all the award winners and the proud parents and the guardians who have supported you in innumerable ways. Whatever you have all achieved so far would never have been possible without the constant support and encouragement from your parents. I request all the passing out graduates to stand up and give a loud round of applause to your parents and family members present here. Thank you. AFMC has been at the forefront of medical education in the country. You just heard the report read out by the dean. More than 7,000 medical graduates have passed out of its hallowed portals and have served the nation and humanity with pride and distinction. I take this opportunity to compliment the college administration and faculty for their unremitting hard work, dedication, and collective efforts in the training and grooming of all these young minds, enabling them to realize their potential. I'm happy to note that AFMC provides an atmosphere for multidimensional and holistic development of young medical cadets. Here, the student cadets are trained not only to be competent medical professionals in armed forces and civic life, but also to respond to the, demand of the demands of the patients and community in a most professional and ethical way. We call it soft skills. We also call it that you identify yourself with the patient as you would identify yourself with any other human being. It's your opportunity and privilege that that patient has come to you. And every time you look at a patient, you thank God that the God has given you the privilege to take care of their patient. And it will be your duty all along to ensure that you maintain the noble human dignity while taking care of that patient. In that patient, you will see a human being as much as you yourselves are. And that should be the guiding motto of your life while taking care of each and every patient. The academic performances of our cadets, as our dean told us just now, has been far better than many other institutions under the MUHS. 
In fact, in uh, obstetrics and gynecology, it was almost, uh, you know, 92 distinctions. I mean, it's just so great. The standards set by this college have become a benchmark for other medical colleges to emulate. With rapid advances in medical sciences, it's expected from all the students to be lifelong learners and to keep pace with these developments and acquire new skills in patient care. In order to be truly successful, you must first build a sound foundation of subject knowledge and clinical medicine. Please always remember that whatever specialty you're going to practice, the clinical component of that specialty is going to remain the bedrock of whatever you learn. And for the clinical, don't uh, let the clinical books which are there with you, whether it's Hutchison and Hunter, whether it is Kedas, or whichever book you are doing, clinical medicine, keep reading it time and again, time and again. They're going to guide you through care of your patients. And once you are learning, now you're going to go for internship and then the independent practice as doctors. You must do it with due respect to human and ethical values. I urge all of you to continuously broaden your new horizons, to continuously compete against yourself to achieve the best possible state of professionalism. Only a combination of healthy body, mind, and the spirit will lead to optimum results. Now you are, you're all going for internship. Make a habit at the end of the day, in your diary, whatever you may have done during the day, spend 15 to 20 minutes and write what you have seen during that day. Your reflections of that, and in the night, also write to yourself, what have you learned from all that you have done during the day? Make it a habit, and if you persist with this habit, you will see the results for yourself. The cadets of E3 batch will be leaving the alma mater after spending four and a half years here. The college has given you everything you needed to achieve perfection and greater heights on professional and personal front. I advise all of you, the passing out cadets, and all, not only the cadets, I mean, now your officers, the officers who are passing out, and those who have been your companions and not going to join the armed forces, for them to be prepared to welcome your patients' participation in decisions about their care. Be prepared to devote your professional energies not only to your patients' needs, but also to promote the health of people around you. You're not only going to treat sickness, you are going to en encourage and ensure wellness. To those joining the Armed Forces Medical Services, I assure you that the Armed Forces will provide you with ample opportunities for professional and personal growth, and it's up to you to make full use of these opportunities. Uh, many of you are aware of Gurukul Parampara. In our ancient India, we used to have Gurukul Parampara. In Gurukul Parampara, the students with, uh, we would be learning uh, at the Gurukul. Gurukul was a place where the sages and rishis would teach their students by one-to-one -to -one contact with each one of them, something which we are trying to emulate in some form in AFMC. And when these students would pass out, they would give some Guru Dakshina to the Guru. The Guru Dakshina would never be in form of a material object. Actually, it's your faculty who should be asking you for that Guru Dakshina, and it should be you who should be coming forward to offer that Guru, Guru Dakshina to them. But if I could ask on their behalf, what would I ask you? Would you give it to me? If I asked you something, Guru Dakshina, would you give it to me? At every point in your life, you'll have two choices. To walk on the right path and to walk on the other path which is not right. There'll be temptations many times to walk on the path that is not right. There'll be a voice within you guiding you that this is the right path. What I want to have a promise from you is that you listen to this voice within you. This voice within you will guide you. You don't need any external teachers or guides for that. Listen to the voice within which will be telling you that this is the right path. Follow that voice and you will see the results for yourself. Will you give that to me? 
let that let this e batch let this echo through the corridors of history so that when i am not there and you are where i am today you will remember this that if that the somebody wanted this from you and if you had if you have given this promise to me that you are, and which you followed all along as it echoes and goes to that future at that time remember this man who is requesting you to do this for me at the end i urge each one is yourself to let virtuosity be your lamp light diligence be your north star integrity be your lighthouse and lifelong pursuit of excel excellence be your compass again i want to tell all of you you who are there and all these young boys and girls who are sitting behind that these good words that we talk about always being on right they are not mere words they are not uh, mere platitudes they have a truth behind them they have a force behind them it is us who lack the force to follow the right things try to develop that force within you if you develop that force within you that is what will differentiate you from others who do not follow that force within them i am sanguine that all that has happened to you in the course of your life in four and a half years in armed forces medical college my young officers and other medical graduates who are passing today as a result of this you are men and women who will bring glory and honor to yourself your parents the college and the armed forces medical services good luck and god bless each and every one of you jai hind thank you sir ladies and gentlemen with this we now come to the end of academic award presentation ceremony i thank you all for being here on this auspicious occasion thank you and have a wonderful day jai, jai hind, hind.